I got a question the other day from Pear Tree Family, one of our viewers here, and they said, I'm afraid to use Fusion because every time I try, I mess up and then I can't go back to how it was before. How do I get better at it? This video is the answer to how the heck do I get better at Fusion? Let's learn how to learn. Long story short, just like everything in life, it all comes down to practice. The more time that you can spend in DaVinci Resolve, the more you are going to feel comfortable working. Even though I haven't done a great job at labeling these nodes, somebody who's familiar with Fusion can probably figure out sort of what's going on here. Whereas if you're brand new to Fusion, you're like, what is happening? Why is that? What, who, what is, what is this? So if you're trying to learn Fusion or really any kind of creative thing, my big advice to you is to do studies. A study is just doing a very simple project in order to learn kind of one aspect, one little part of whatever you're trying to learn. Artists do this all the time, trying to draw little thumbnails and just really trying to work on one kind of specific part of their art. So that might be exploring lighting, exploring contrast, exploring shape. This kind of stuff is really, really helpful. Even though it seems boring, you're like, why would I want to draw all these little thumbnails? I want to draw something really cool. I want to draw like this amazing work of art. Well, you won't be able to draw an amazing work of art until you do some work actually learning all the pieces that go into it. So if you're brand new to Fusion, do this. In the edit page, go to the media pool, right click and say new Fusion composition. We'll just hit create. And I'll double click on that to open it up in Fusion. Now we're gonna take this and just keep it as simple as we can. Go one step at a time and kind of work until you get uncomfortable. A great way to start this is just with graphics, right? So you could take a background node. If you're not familiar with a background node, just connect your background node to the media out and see what you can do with it. This is totally okay to just spend some time messing with the background node. Select that, open it up in the inspector and see what every little thing does here. So solid color, we can make this all kinds of different colors. That's pretty easy, right? It can make this green. But under type here, what does that do? If I switch this to horizontal, there's a horizontal gradient and we can change the different colors here. And we can make this kind of gradated background. There's a similar thing for a vertical. There's also a four corner gradient. where you can have four different colors merging together. What's the difference between the four corner and the regular gradient? Okay, well the regular gradient, we can add a little bit more stuff to. So I can do something like literally set up a rainbow. Just using this gradient. I can take these little control points and change the orientation of my gradient. So really you could do a whole study on just how to use a background node. Just a second, ResolveCon 2022 is happening October 1st and 2nd, and I want you there. We're gonna have live Resolve teaching, discussion panels, and tons of giveaways. It's gonna be a blast. It's the DaVinci Resolve learning event of the year, sponsored by Blackmagic Design, and the best part is it's totally free, and you can watch it streamed on YouTube right here. All you have to do is register down below in the description, okay? Okay. Let's get back to the video. And so really the question is, where do you start to get uncomfortable in Fusion? Do you know what all of these nodes are? If not, take some time and just open them up and play with them. It's totally okay to do that. If you're not really familiar with how masks work, just grab something like an ellipse mask, connect this to the background and see what it does. Okay, so this limits the background. If I move the mask around, we can see kind of the background under it. What happens when I grab one of these edges? If I grab in the corner, it scales proportionally. If I grab the side, it scales just on the X and up here, just on the Y. What does this little thing do? Oh, I can turn it. And so you can really start discovering these things. And, and honestly, this is where you're going to learn the most is not watching a bunch of tutorials, but opening this up and messing with things for a little bit until you get confused. Then you could maybe watch a tutorial and try it again. But this aspect of just playing around is super helpful. I do this several times a week in Resolve just so I can learn what all these random things do. And there's just no way to learn it without putting in the work. So here's a couple studies that I've been doing. This one is with some 3D text. This isn't pretty at all. It's not even centered. I don't have my nodes labeled or anything. I don't even know if this is the right way to kind of do this sort of thing. But I've been playing around with taking some 3D text and replacing the material on it using a texture. 
And how fancy can I get with a material? Can I put a bump map on it? And how does that work? It's all of this stuff where like, if you don't understand any of the 3D stuff, don't worry about it because really I'm just trying to learn a little bit. I'm just messing with stuff. And there's really no excuse not to do this because you don't need anything special to learn really kind of the basics here and to get familiar with how nodes work and all the things in Fusion. Switch back here to this composite. Here's an effect I'm working on with some fake mountains in the distance. This is just shot on my phone. Go out and shoot something with your phone, bring it into Fusion and see what you can do with it. You're going to learn more doing that than waiting for the perfect footage and the perfect project to come along where you can learn the industry standard workflow. This kind of thing is really essential. This is the big difference I see between people who learn software well and people who are kind of constantly lost. So yeah, do a study, take a piece of footage, grab some pictures from the internet. If you're just practicing, it doesn't really matter if you have rights to do it or not. Just put stuff together and see what you can make. There's nothing stopping you from doing that kind of thing. So if you want to get better at Fusion, open up Resolve, open up Fusion, put something in there and start messing around with it. This is just about the most important lesson I can give you. Don't be afraid to mess things up. Start with a little project and do a study. Open up a piece of footage and try and motion track some text to it. Make it super ugly. If you're learning about 3D stuff, make a cube and animate the cube. Do something with that. If you're learning color correction, shoot some video of your cat, take the video into Resolve and try and color correct it. The more mileage you can get actually trying to do things, the better. That said, if you do want some professional kind of high-end footage to work with, we have that available in our Intro to Resolve course, so make sure to check that out. If you're just getting into Resolve, that is a great way to kind of get a kickstart and kind of start learning stuff really well. And if you combine that with these studies, you are going to go super far. Hey, thanks for watching the video. That was less awkward, right?